Afternoon. This is Nita and Miss Pan over the Giant Peach Garden. I don't know if you can see her down there. She's standing on top of the tree stump. You know what's left of it. Because that's her jungle gym. Anyway. We've reached our high of 47 degrees. Okay, awesomeness. And um, I don't know, do you ever have those days where you're not sick, but you don't feel well? I'm having one of those. And the sad thing is, this is going to be the warmest day this week. I'm not going to get anything done. I've got some, some, some grapevine in my hand. I've been eating some grapes that I didn't take out when I took out the compost pile. Um, I'm ready to go back in the house just get in a blanket and hide. You know. Um, then I must remember panda has to come outside it's good for her to just be outside and hang out and be a dog you know um having said that i had thought that i was gonna um whew, go get my my fabric spikes um we've had the rain and the snow so the soil over here is softer and this side over here where I was adding dirt to help level this out has um, packed down so I could go ahead and get my fabric spikes and spike those down or spike that piece of fabric down. And um, I was like, yeah, I could do that today. You know, it's not excessively strenuous. You have no idea the thoughts of me picking up a, a hammer just like, yeah, no, we're not doing that today. Um, second thought was I was going to take this wood off and restack it on these two piles. Because it's, it's all burnable. It's dry like this stuff is. Um, and then that way I get the smaller stuff that I don't have to, you know, chop in half or in thirds or in quarters or whatever. I could go ahead and start stacking on here and get it off the ground. Yeah, I'm not doing that either. I, it, you have no idea how non-appealing any of that is. Just, how do I say it? Every time I, have you ever had ice cream and you get brain freeze? Does that make sense? That's what I feel like. It just, it doesn't stop. I can't eat something warm and it go away. Um, yeah. So I'm going to hang out here with Panda and, you know, take her for a walk because she needs us. She's playing. She's up here having a blast. Um, she likes to be outside and she likes it when I play with her outside. I don't think I'm going to get anything else done though. You know, truly. So hopefully I feel better tomorrow because tomorrow's workout day. And, uh, Miss Panda and I, I don't even know if you can see her, she's way up there at the top of the stack. But she and I, we'll see you later. So, Panda the supervisor reminded me that I have a goal it requires doing something every day. You know, if not, I will never get ahead of the game. I will never have the gardens that I want. You know, I won't get a mobile chicken coop built. Or, I mean, just have to do something every day. Have to. So, what did I do today? What used to be the roof that was laying here in the grass? It's over at the burn pile. Am I burning it today? No, but it has been taken apart and moved. And I cleaned the pad off. I got something accomplished. Huh. Wasn't what I had planned. <sighs> but it was easy enough. Does that make sense? So it gave Panda 30 minutes out here and I'm, you know, moving stuff and cleaning stuff. And she's like, oh, we're looking for critters. And she's playing and having a great time. And life is awesome. So having said that, huh. I'm going back in the house. I'm done. You know? She's doing the panda thing. Maybe I'll take her for a walk just around the garden three or something like that before I go in. But I'm done. That was enough. But it's clear. I like clear. Hey, right, talk to y'all later. Alrighty. 
on the panda walk decided to come on into the hoop tunnel check and see if anybody needed some water um, now they're not dry but you know they, they could use a little drink so I mean, everybody's doing awesome again these are spinach you know guess we've been through a couple of freezes and they're like yeah whatever um, those are my strawberry spinaches those were all coming up <clears throat> They're uh, mustard greens. Again, living life large and loving it. There's some orchids. There's some more. So, you know, everybody's coming up. Because over there are some turnips. Everybody's doing what they're doing. And it's warm in here. It's as warm in here as it is in the house. Whew. Now, again, the peppers have started to die back. And I expected that, you know, um, I expected them to go through their fall thing. And I know this is going to sound crazy, but the goal is when it starts to warm up in the hoop tunnel here end of February, beginning March, for them to come back. Because they truly are in a warmer climate, a, uh, a perennial. Um, now, if that happens, does that make sense where I can keep a, how do I say it, a pepper root alive for the year? Does that make sense? Then I am months ahead of trying to wait till, you know, end of May, beginning of June to plant them. I'll be I'll be harvesting already. Um, so it's just an experiment. If it doesn't work, it's okay. If it does work, you know, bonus me. All right, watering is done though. I'm gonna go in the house. I will talk to you later.